<laughs> is it going? Is it on? We are live. Is this on? <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. We're going to do the first uh, of hopefully a series. If we survive, it's going to be a if series. Yeah, of hunter gatherer challenges. So, what we're going to do is for three days, we're just going to eat and drink off of the land, completely off of the land. And we're going to eat and drink just things that we collect during the three day period. So we're not going to be eating out of the freezer. We're not going to be eating out of the refrigerator. We're not going to eat canned goods. We're just going to go out. We're going to hunt and gather and that's what we're going to eat for those three days. So if anybody wants to join us in this endeavor and, uh, I don't think that's going to happen, but if anybody does want to, I'm going to post up the rules down below and in the comments, let us know. Um, I'm going to keep an update going and probably do some vlogging every day just to let you know how this process is going. For me, this is going to be a learning experience because I really want to learn to survive better and I want to learn to survive off the land in the moment wherever I am. So the hunting, hunting, gathering part of it is important for that. If you can harvest food and fungi and nuts, um, fish, plants off the land and survive on it, I think it's a really valuable skill to have. So that's mm -hmm. what I hope to bring out of this. If this works out okay, I want to do it at different times of the year yeah. when you employ different strategies and then just expand that knowledge base and continue to build on that. So, but basically three days, for three whole days um, on our own, we're gonna eat and drink just stuff that is wild and is off the land. So <clears throat> artesian water is okay, but we're not gonna be drinking out of the tap. We're not gonna be using our well water. Um, we may also boil some water or filter some water to drink. Yeah. Any harvest method is gonna be okay. In my view, we're not gonna go back and use uh, bone fish hooks. <laughs> We might do something with that later I mean, on. Fun but to play with. Yeah, I might want to parlay into that later. But I think right now I'm not going to do uh, bone fish hooks and spears. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to go back that far into paleo land. Um, but immediate return hunting and gathering. We're not going to use ice. We're not going to use anything from the refrigerator or freezer. Like I said, nothing canned. All the fish bait that we use, because we're going to probably rely on fish during this time period, is going to be wild gathered. So worms, night crawlers, etc., insects. Um, in this, I'm okay with a stocked lake or pond, but I don't want to be, you know, if you've got pellet-fed catfish <laughs> that come up and boil at the surface when you throw pellets in, and you're going to net one of those out. That's probably not what we're looking for here. We want basically wild fish, whether they've been stocked at some point or not. Yeah, and you can't go into your chicken coop and grab an egg. Yeah, none of that. <laughs> Maybe you can find duck eggs, but... Oh, yeah, duck eggs right now, yeah. but... It's probably more efficient to let that duck grow up and then shoot it in the fall and eat it then though, but mm -hmm. it's up to you. Um, no gar garden or orchard harvests. The idea isn't to grab something from your garden. Maybe you have a root, um, root veggies left over from next year in your garden. We want to get stuff basically that grows wild, that you, you find wild on the landscape. So mm -hmm. herbs, birds, fungi, fruits, nuts, all open game. Um, we decided not to go too crazy on the cooking part of it, and we're going to allow ourselves accoutrements, like using sauces, butters, dressings, spices, oils, that kind of thing, just to make it a little bit more livable experience. Yeah. And being able to continue to use our kitchen, so pots, pans, dishes, silverware. Yeah, cooking utensils. Like, we're not going to have to. And we might do some open fire. Yeah, mess we Mess with some open fire cooking, but I don't want to... I don't want to say it's got to all be open fire cooking or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that about covers it. I think so too. Okay, cool. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. I don't think it's going to be that hard. In three days, even if we don't find anything, yeah. we're not actually going to die. You're not going to die. <laughs> no. But three days is long enough that if you don't find food, you're going to be hurting. Yeah. I'm going to be hurting at the end of three days. And the days. water part is going to be interesting too. Yeah. To having to harvest water is going to be like an added challenge even if we're not eating you know we still have to drink water yeah for sure so all right so that's what we're gonna do and uh we'll do update videos as we go mm -hmm. along yeah. all right take care everybody